Hello everybody, my name is Alan. I'm from Sauber Lab and in this video we're going to show a toolkit called Medicat. And this toolkit, it's a bootable system that you can have antivirus, backup and recover, boot repair, diagnostic tool, live operating system, partition tools and a password removal. And in this way you can have everything in only one flash drive. The good thing for it is that all the tools that you can find it's more focused for Windows user. Different for bootnet, X, Y, and Z, most of the tools that you find in that open system or that toolkit, it's more folks for Linux users. In this video, we're going to go step by step how you can download the system, how you can install it, and how you can use it. And in this way, you can have only one flash drive and do everything that you need, different to have a different open system in different flash drives. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're going to show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed, then let's understand a little bit more about it. As I told, the tool that we're going to install is Medicat. Medicat is a little bit different for Netboot X, Y, and Z because of the size that uh, all this system use. Different for Netboot, they will use a few megabytes of data and they will download everything from the internet and will use straight away for you. From this Medicat, they will have all the information read in your flash drive, they will not download anything, they will be local and that you can use it either that you don't have access for the internet. So it's some difference from both systems. Other thing, as I told, it's more focused for Windows, so it's a lot of applications will be more dedicated for Windows use than a Linux use. So now we go to the website and try to see a little bit more about this tool. If you come here in the website, it's quite simple website, but don't confuse you, it's a powerful tool and can do a lot for you. Here they say that uh, uh, they can recover, diagnostic and run some open systems. And here you can download, you can grab, post, and you can look for the information for the GitHub. If you go down, you don't have so much information, but you know that you have password remove tools, you have ransomware and malware recovery, you have partition tools and uh, backup and data recovery. If we still going down, you have different systems that you can install it or different open system that you need to use to make this system bootable. So you can have Windows or Linux, and you can download those open system directly by talking. As I read, download it and not download it again. If I open here, here it's all the files and information that I have. Remember, you need to have this medcat and you need to have this zip file. This zip file is quite big, it's around 22 gigabytes because they need to have all the data there. So they will take a little bit longer to input all the information, but you don't need to have internet to use it. So to install, first thing, we need to disable the antivirus. What I see that if you don't disable, they will not work as expect, so it's easy only to do it. And here we can open this application. It's quite simple. They'll ask me for admin permissions. I will say yes. And here they will start to do all the checks for the application. Here the red say that the antivirus could be triggered and that we cannot do anything about it. We can go ahead, continue, and they will check all the information, see if it's there, it's available, and they will give this page. Now in this page, you can continue it. They will say that it's a free application and you need to be aware that all your risk to use it. If you mess up something, it's your risk. It's totally fine, only advice, because if you lose your data, they will not be responsible for it. And here appears this page where we can start to do the installation. Remember, if you select no for this option, they will not format your flash drive, but this could be an issue because if you don't format, maybe not have the correctly format and they do not start the boot. So I always suggest you to say yes. And here you can check your files because we just downloaded it and I don't believe that it's an issue. I can jump this step, but if you are not uh, confident that this file has been downloaded correctly, you can check it before start to install. And now we can click here to install. They will ask you to select what letter of USB stick that you want. In my case, it's D, so I select Medicat D and I will put OK. 
they will ask you are sure that's letter D because if you select the wrong letter potentially they can format the wrong hard drive or wrong system so be sure that you select the correctly one in my case yes it's correctly so I'll put enter they ask if you wanted to run as a GPT yes I wanted to do it and if I wanted to use as a security boot I say yes again and now they will format my system and they will give a flash drive without any operating system this can take up to a few seconds and have a look if this letter is exactly the same because potentially can change maybe it's D then go for F and other letter so be sure that uh, those letters match and now I can put enter they will confirm the structure for my system and now they will start to install everything this installation could take a few minutes because they will copy basically 28 or 22 gigabytes of data from your computer to the flash drive and this take time basically so once that you finish my case I think that it took around 10 minutes I can take out the flash drive from my computer and I go for the computer that I want to recover or want to use this system depend on what open system or depend on what computer that you're using the keyboards to start the configuration could be a little bit different so have this one in mind before you start to be aware how you can start a boot directly from the, your flash drive so in my case I will show in a Dell computer if you use other system will be a little bit different so in my case I put the flash drive in my computer and I start my system here I believe that's F12 that I need to press to start my boot so uh, they will give all the options of boot system that I want to use in my case I will select this Kingston Data Travel it's my flash drive that I'm using be sure that you use the correctly flash drive that you want and put enter they will take a few minutes until they start the system and once that they start now we can start to use it as first page this is the system that you're gonna use you can select antivirus and if I select antivirus malware I can boot this antivirus directly from my flash drive and scan all my system so nothing will start in my system imagine that it's a bootable they will be able to remove it and in the same time they will clean all the malware that I have in my system backup and recover as I told it's more folks for Windows so we'll have all those applications that is normally available for Windows but remember you don't need it to have your system running for it you can select any one of those applications and make backup recover your data scan your data and continue on so it's quite a powerful and good tools that you can cite you can have a lot of those remember when we use netboot x y and z they give an option for cloudzilla in this case they will not give because cloudzilla is more focused for linux and this one it's more focused for windows so let's go back and now i go to boot repair i can repair the boot or i can repair the open system if they are not putting correctly i can choose one of those and start it the same thing i can have some tools diagnostic for make sure that my system is running suppose that they are not starting i want to know if my run memory is the problem or my cpu is the problem or something else is the problem i can run this application maybe you discover that your hard drive is not working or end of life this reason that your system is not boot properly so in this way you can decide one of those applications and test it the good thing you can go there test your system and you don't need to install anything so you don't affect anything else in your system you only run as a run memory operating system so now the next one it's live operating system I can decide one of those systems to run suppose that I want to run uh, the Windows 10 I can run the Windows 10 and have a look in all my application that install in my system or my hard drive and check if something else is bad if I want to do a backup or if I want to just recover my data if I go here partition of uh, the tools I can change the size of my system I, I imagine that I have one hard drive and I wanted to make instead of a C and D in the same hard drive I wanted to make only a C and I make it recover all the hard drive only a big hard drive so in this way you can do this you can change the size I can part partition my C for two without need to format anything and continue on if I go here for password removal I can use this one principally if I lose the password for my computer and I can recover it I never use it so I don't know if they will take a long time as a brute force or it will be a short time lock picking some way that will make it fast 
but anyway you can recover the user's password if you need and in the end you can do the windows recovery those windows recover it's really good if uh, your system is not working and you want to recover it you can select from windows 8 windows 10 and windows 11. the good thing you don't need to have internet connection in order to make it run because everything is already running in your usb stick so either that's my internet it's not uh, available I can still use those tools, I can still recover my data, I can still backup it and I can save what I need and use it. So in this way we arrive at the end of the video, I hope that you guys like this video, if you like this video and think that was interesting please don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing for the channel if you're not subscribed yet and see you next time, bye!